Cole. Good evening. Drug raids hit seven smoke shops in St. Lawrence County. Tonight, we hear from the authorities in charge of the raids and what they say was happening, including allegedly selling the stuff to kids. Here's 7 News reporter Zach Grady. Seven smoke shops in five communities in St. Lawrence County accused of illegal sales of a controlled substance. Nine individuals were arrested on felony and misdemeanor charges for both the sale and possession of a controlled substance. Whether you support the New York State plan to permit the use of sale of marijuana, it is of the utmost importance to enforce the laws and rules that regulate these sales. We must arrest and prosecute these individuals that establish these illegal and unlicensed smoke shops which endanger our communities. Operation Trip Around the County is ongoing, spearheaded by the St. Lawrence Drug Task Force. The raids hit shops in Ogdensburg, Potsdam, Canton, Governor, and Messina. State and local police helped, as did the U.S. Border Patrol and Homeland Security. This operation, this isn't about necessarily just marijuana and whether you agree or disagree with the laws that have been passed here in New York. Uh, this is about the totality of what was happening in these stores. What was happening in those stores? Authorities say was the sale of illegal controlled substances, including allegedly to minors. We have received several complaints from citizens, parents, and school officials of reports of these illegal sales of, mar of, of marijuana and these uh, substances to minors. In total, authorities see 66 grams of psilocybin, 27 pounds worth of concentrated cannabis, and 63 pounds of cannabis more than 18,000 flavored nicotine vapes, and over $37,000 in cash. New York State passed these laws, but they also put oversight in to control what was being sold at these locations and concentrations and how much you could sell. Um, right now, there's no oversight. Authorities say the investigation is ongoing and more arrests could still be made. Zach Grady, 7 News.